Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Hope everyone is staying safe and well. In this tutorial, which is a follow-up of my previous FTDV10 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to activate smart license or smart licensing on FTDV through the FDM without the FMC. So over here in, on the screen, you see two links. The first link is the official documentation that you should really get yourself familiar with. And the second link over here is a YouTube video done by Cisco uh, showing you how to activate smart licensing on uh, FTD version 6. Uh, it should be similar. However, I'm, I'm doing this setup on FTD v10, so I might as well show you how to activate it. All right, so I've kept the date here, uh, and I'm going to try and do that uh, moving forward for all my videos, as uh, I realize that with you know, the way that the world or the cyber world is changing, you know, there are constant nuances that might change as we progress and, and as new things come out, right? So let's hop over quickly to the next part. So I've summarized this into a few steps, five simple steps, especially for the distributor uh, who are setting up your own lab or test environment, right? Uh, or demo environment for your partners and customers. So I'm not show you how to create, I'm not show you how to create a smart account. You should have one. If not, please contact your CCOID admin um, to get your own smart account. Step two, we're gonna determine what are the licenses that you will need. Step three, we'll show you how to select the right virtual account. Step four, we'll create a token. And step five, we'll show you where to apply the token. All right, so it's five very simple steps to get you started. So let's hop over to the Firepower Device Manager, FDM first. Let's log in. Since the last video, I have uh, reset up a new firewall as I've forgotten the password. So the great thing about uh, FTDV or virtualized firewall is that, you know, you can quickly spin off uh, a new instance as and when you need it. So when you log into the FDM, a couple of things that you want to quickly check is to make sure that the ISP WAN gateway is green, right? So this shows that your FTD is actually connected to the internet. Next, what we're going to do is to go over to Smart License, right? As you can see, by default, the FTDV comes with 90 days trial. So let's go into View Configuration. Okay, over here, First, what you need to do is to determine what are the features that you would require. By default, even for the trial, you are able to test out the thread, malware, and the URL license, right? You can enable them. Right now, it's not enabled. Uh, however, you will need to request for an official trial through the global virtual engineering team. Right, if you are a partner or a distributor, if you are a customer who is looking at starting your own trial, reach out to uh, either a partner or a distributor uh, to request for the trial license. Right, without that, you will not be able to test out the VPN license capability. So once we have identified that we need uh, the the respective feature, we will then go over to the Cisco Software Central, right, and select the right virtual account. Right, as a as a partner or a distributor, you will already have access to Cisco Software Central, right? What you want to do is to, from the main page, go to Manage License, click on Manage License, right? As this is a fresh new trial, there are no alerts, right? Next, go to Inventory. Okay, by default, you will see a default virtual account, right? This is important because when you are requesting for a trial, you need to specify your virtual account as well as your company ID, right? Or your organization ID. So what I have done is I've created a demo and POV account. So when you first go in, you will see that it is blank, right? And then based on the feature, request for a trial, right? And and through the uh, global virtual engineering team, 
I've already done the request for my trial license. Therefore, you will see that I have the FTDV based license, uh, the anti malware, the threat protection, and the URL filtering license uh, already requested, right? And, and assigned to my uh, demo POV account over here. So once you get your trial license, what you want to do is, or your lab license, what you do is to go over to general and then click on new token. Right, give it a meaningful description. Okay, select a value between 1 to 365, the validity of the token. I've gotten a license for uh, 365 days. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to keep it as 90 days for this trial. Right? There might be other parameters that you need to key in. Uh, right now, we don't have a uh, VPN license, right? Uh, I, but I'm going to request for a 25 user license, right? Uh, for my next video. So I'm going to put 25. Uh, users here. Okay, you'll see that a token is being created that is bind to the respective licenses. Okay, next, let's go back to FDM for our step four, sorry, step five. So we have created a token on step four. And then step five, what we, want now, what we want to do now is to click on register device, right? You can actually see the instruction here as well, right? So what we're going to do is to copy and paste by right by clicking on this arrow here, right? You'll see the token. You can do control C or just copy and then go back to FDM, paste the token, select the tier, right? So if you have requested for FTD V5, right? Select V5, right? Which is 100 meg throughput and 25, uh, 25 or 50, sorry, 50 um, session license, right? I've requested for FDD V10, so I'm going to select that. Next, choose your region, right? I'm using APJ region. Select on that, scroll down, and register device, right? It takes about one minute to complete the registration. You can go over to the task list here, and then you will see that registration is in progress, right? Uh, when it comp So if you go to running, you can see that uh, we have actually completed the smart license registration, right? And uh, next device is enrolling with Cisco Cloud. Okay. Okay. And you can see that the enrollment has completed. And let's close this. Refresh the page. And you can see that the license has been applied. Now, really like the way that uh, Cisco has implemented smart licensing. So gone are the days of, you know, manually keeping track of your license key or pack file, right? So this really helps you to manage all your Cisco license uh, um, in a single portal, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable thread, enable malware, and enable URL. You can see that all the licenses, right, are enabled and you should not see any error because we have requested or I have requested for uh, the license for all the various feature. However, one of the things that you no notice is that now the VPN license is enabled, right? So once you apply your smart license, you will see that VPN license is enabled, right? Now, I did not request for the VPN license. So what happens is if I click enable over here, right, you'll see that it is enabled. However, when you refresh the screen, right, you will see that I'm out of compliance. And over here, it will tell you which are the license that is out of compliance, right? So I've selected plus, I've, uh, you can select VPN only plus or Apex, right? So there are different capability that is tied to it, right? So if I click on Apex and plus, for example, and I do a refresh, I will still see the out of compliance. So one great thing about this is that, you know, the smart licensing will actually prompt you, right, when you do not have the license, right? And it helps for you to go back to the software central again. Now, if you click on the license part, you will see that over here, right, there is a prompt 
that says that I do not have license for both the Apex license and the Plus license, right? And then I can proceed, right, to purchase the right license, right, if I'm a customer. Now, if I'm doing a lab, like what I'm doing now to show you uh, a demo, right, I can then request for the additional license stated here, okay? So it's pretty cool, right, for especially for, uh, you know, distributor and partner like yourself uh, to be able to, you know, quickly identify what is the gap and place an order or request for a trial while you're waiting for the license to be approved. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is that in product instances, you will now see that there is a uh, PID, right, that is tied to the uh, FTDV that I have registered, right? So that is all for this uh, tutorial, a very quick and fast one just to show you how to turn on your smart licensing, right? So now I want to be in compliance. Let's head back to the... Uh, Licensing part and disable this, right? So I can easily disable the feature. And when I do a refresh, you can see that I'm back in compliance, right? And I have the various features turned on. So that's all for today's tutorial. Stay tuned for the rest of the tutorial um, in the future that I'll touch and dive into more uh, capabilities such as how do you configure HA using FDM and also progress to, you know, taking a look at FMC as well as CDO. So thank you very much. Stay safe and stay tuned for my next video.